What is the most fireable thing you have seen someone do at work that didn't get them fired? Worked at a deli for a summer that hired a bunch of high school kids with a large sweaty checked out manager. I was one of the high school kids. One of the other two had a block of Havarti cheese they just opened to cut off six slices for an old lady. It was near the end of the day so instead of putting the rest of the block of cheese and sure on wrap and in the refrigerator he put it down the garbage disposal. Just pushed it down with barbecue tongs while doing the dish. Gesture at me with his lips and other index finger. I just thought wow well, that's fucked up. Two instances come to mind. 1. Engineer caught doing blow. They didn't fire him. Just put him on nights. Still working at this globally known company 20 years later. Still doing blow. Functioning addiction wicked smart. 2. Deputy caught in a sex act while on duty where children frequently are present. He was fired then rehired and got a bump in pay ranking. 3. Deputy stole $20,000 from evidence. She cried after being caught. They transferred her out of that region. She has promoted a few times since the incident. Never paid the money back nor was charged. A janitor at work made a comment to some guys insinuating that he would shoot the store up. Someone heard him say it and eventually I heard about it. I took it to management and they questioned me. Then they called me in for telling my first line manager and said I was spreading rumors and could be fired. Then they sent me home because I wouldn't stop telling people he said it. Then they suspended him for three days and he still works there. I quit later for different reasons but I shook that place up before I left. Everyone lost respect for management after that. A director of customer engagement publicly, in a department-wide recorded meeting, told everyone he was going to participate in wage theft against his subordinates. I've never downloaded and saved a Zoom meeting faster. Then, when they didn't get reprimanded or anything. I took that video to the labor board and sued them for wage theft. It just boggles my mind how a popular, well-known startup would allow someone like that to remain on staff. Last I heard, half the call center was going after them for wage theft under the same condition that I did. Me. Regularly blackout drunk server. Not only did I not get fired, I was working one night, and offered a job by some customers whom I waited on the week before zero memory of them. Did some non-profit accounting for them for several months on the side. Don't try this at home, kids, not a healthy way to live, and if my manager did not have issues herself, I would have been shit months before. But people liked me, I was hardworking, and rarely made mistakes. It helps that it was a very very easy place to work. This was years ago. I worked for a union job that favors the lazy. One time. A guy was loading an 18-wheeler and a female supervisor told him to hurry up because the shift was almost over. He got about 3 inches from her face and screamed how about you suck my dick, bitch the supervisor immediately walked him out the door. Fired on the spot. Two days later, he's back at work. He filed a grievance with our union steward for harassment and wrongful termination and ended up getting his job back with back pay. Since that day, I never agreed with our local union. My high school homeroom teacher on a daily basis, while sitting at his desk, would stick his hands down his pants for extended periods of time. He would also, inexplicably, standing or sitting, hold his keyring of keys in front of his face, jiggling them about with his head cocked to one side and his tongue hanging out of his mouth. We all saw it all the time to the point that it was just typical behavior in his room. Taylor Alder dies high school, history teacher. I want answers Mr. What the fuck was up with the keys? My high school homeroom teacher on a daily basis, while sitting at his desk, would stick his hands down his pants for extended periods of time. He would also, inexplicably, standing or sitting, hold his keyring of keys in front of his face, jiggling them about with his head cocked to one side and his tongue hanging out of his mouth. We all saw it all the time to the point that it was just typical behavior in his room. Taylor Alder dies high school, history teacher. I want answers Mr. What the fuck was up with the keys? He was a manager girl wanted to get hired. He told her he would hire her if he got a BJ. She agreed and he went to the bathroom and waited. Instead she went to his manager's office just down the hall and reported him. Instead of getting fired he was demoted in one step, I think because of lack of evidence, but this is totally something everyone that knew him would agree is something he'd do. He never made it back to manager even though he constantly tried. That's some justice but that prick should have lived in a box for that. A cashier stole money from another employee and didn't get fired. Almost no one liked her, too. She was rude to any new employee and a good number of those who'd been there for a while. Said some very questionable things about certain black employees, 
only just on the deniable side of racist. Eventually she was fired for pulling too many no-call no-shows, but it wasn't a new thing for her. If we hadn't switched managers not too long before that, she probably would have been kept on for as long as she wanted to work there. So I have this teacher at my school W column you will understand soon. Is a crazy physics teacher. H will throw a marker at you to show how gravity works and puts the smallest classmate into the trash can for no reason. Don't get me wrong he kind of funny. But what makes him so fireable is that he smokes weed with students. Yes the principal knows this. She also knows it has done the dirty with multiple students and drinks with students on school parties. Yeah it's kind of fucked but funny though. Assault other co-workers. Three times. The third guy a good friend of mine that got assaulted got fired because he was upset about being punched in the face several times because he thought the guy he punched stole his soda, which he didn't. The day after the guy got fired, the ass had that punched and brought in the cake to celebrate that the other guy got fired. Once I read the frosting on the cake and found out that the cake was to celebrate the firing of my friend I went to my boss and quit on the spot. I'm a retired pharmacist. More than once, I had technicians who said things to me, and other people, like make me, bitch and I used to work at a hospital with two men who, if they were the only pharmacists on staff on the weekends, literally did not work they would sit in the break room and watch sports. That they got away with it was not because they were men, but because one of them was, for reasons I never figured out, untouchable. He sure wasn't at his next job, I found out later. I was doing sex up for a convention during my drinking days. After a break, a supervisor asked me, why do you smell like alcohol? I answered, because I drank some vodka in the stairwell. There's a bottle in my backpack, want some? He looked a little amazed and a little amused and shook his head slightly, that was the last I heard of it. I was a temp. But that company offered me a very well-paying steady job after I showed up and worked hard for long and definite hours, I turned it down. A guy insulted one of the vice presidents Amazon while they were doing a guided tour of the facility, by walking up to him and saying hey big boss finally decided to get off your ass and visit us slaves in our natural habitat. The VP made a slight chuckle smile before one of the managers guiding him ushered the guy off to the side and chastised him. He only got away with a misconduct warning, surprisingly. I always wanted to go up to him and hit him with the how do you walk joke. Me and a buddy loaded a cigarette with weed and smoked it in the smoking break room at Walmart. Had a manager wipe her ass with a guy's tortilla that was being an asshole when I was working at Taco Bell in high school. Worked with a physical therapist that got caught lying about seeing patients and billing for it. Got caught because he submitted documentation saying he had worked with a patient that died earlier in the day. Didn't get fired technically but was forced to leave. Print porn on the network printer and leave it there for customer service VP, female, to find the next morning. Same guy took customers to a titty bar, got everyone drunk, ran out of cash and drove to an ADM to get more, on the company credit card. Police found him there passed out drunk behind the wheel, money sticking out of the machine, like hundreds. Still didn't get fired. Sometime later he did something so bad they had no choice but fire him. No one will say what it was. A co-worker's very blatant off-color jokes that he's told for years with no intervention. Even sometimes cracking these jokes right outside of our HR woman's office. We had LGBTQ sensitivity training earlier this year and he loudly walked around the office asking if we'd all taken the Caitlyn Jenner training test yet. I cannot stand him. Anytime I hear him talking, as he somehow can talk in an indoor voice, I put my headphones in and blast music in my ears. My first job as a store clerk at a pharmacy, we used a shit ton of rubbing alcohol to make a massive indoor bonfire. This fire got as high as 10 feet easy and was next to a bunch of packaged toilet paper. Could have gone south quick but I was 16 at the time and was an expert at being stupid. We also did other ridiculous stuff like spreading K2 lube all over the floor across an island would see who can slide the furthest but nothing will top that fire. When I worked in telemarketing a guy's got to eat I saw a 24 year old co-worker come in 3 hours late and with a major hangover and doing all his work that day with his feet up on the desk while napping in his chair. He was this way because the previous night he drove to a brothel and partied a little too hard, he informed us. I was wondering why he wasn't fired until I found out that he was fucking the 10 years older floor manager. I have currently only worked jobs where it's me and my boss. My boss is literally a dog trainer and I will talk with her about some things my family does with our dog to keep him somewhat trained she did an amazing job training our dog she will give me this look of why. And every time I think fuck this is it. 
It's kind of funny but she loves when I come to work because I help with the dogs and also make sure her work area is clean. A department head and his buddy pull their nuts out. The manager had a female subordinate take a photo of them doing so. She was super uncomfortable. Other people were nearby. I was the only one who saw, but I didn't even actually see it. Just saw something weird going on from behind. I eventually figured out what happened and reported it. Management hour yelled at all three equally. I think the department head still works there. My co-teacher fell asleep and was caught many times. In class. By admin. Also, in other areas of the building. He was useless. My students would interrupt me to point out that he was sleeping, but it was better than him blurting out random answers when I was trying to judge the students' learning. There were times that nobody in the building could find him. He was a nice person, but Jesus. He was kept on the entire year. A school bus driver saw a dog on the side of the road that had been hit by a car. She refused to take anyone home until one of the high school kids picked up the dead dog and brought it on the bus. No idea what for, it wasn't her dog. Parents informed the campus, campus informed the district administration office and superintendent. Investigation was done and the story was confirmed. She continued to drive the bus, literally not working. She would get to work at 6.30 and I would see her leaving as I pulled in at 8.00. Her boss hadn't even arrived yet. This was like 4 or 5 days per week. She maybe stayed till 2.00 on the good days. They tried to fire her and were told it was impossible to fire anyone for anything at a university. They waited for the grant to run out and then didn't put her on the new one. It took 2 years. 